Wahidullah Sabawoon had a dream to use something Kabul has plenty of, sunshine. So he started building his country's first solar car. Two problems in Afghanistan. One problem is environment, and another problem is we haven't oil mined, uh, mine and gasoline. Gas, yes. Uh, there is another. System. A professional engineer, Sabawun knew what he wanted to build, but the materials and the money weren't always available. Uh, fiberglass, very expensive. Mm, I haven't money. Mm -hmm. To finance the project, he sold his own car. And when that money ran out, he looked for donations. A friend he met online gave him $1,000 to finish it. It took a year and a half and $5,000 to produce his dream car. And this is the only one in Afghanistan? Yes, this is the only one in Afghanistan. And first uh, solar and electric car, this is, uh, elect uh, this is the car is used electricity uh, from this solar or back so another solar. And uh, when uh, the weather is uh, cloudy or night or rainy, we, we, can, we can use uh, electricity and with charge. Saba Woon used what parts he could find at the local market, like motorcycle wheels, and he welded the car together as best he could. This is certainly a very basic model. There's no room for storage, no airbags, and not a lot of maneuverability. It's not the ideal car for Kabul traffic. Driving in Kabul is chaotic and aggressive. Cars challenge each other to get ahead. Sabawun only takes his car on the road on weekends, armed with the phone number of the head of the traffic police in case he stopped. Summer driving has brought a new problem. The brake fluid gets too hot and he has his first accident. Despite the difficulties, Sabawun is hoping someday to produce the cars here. So far, there have been no interested investors. He says he got a free education in Afghanistan, and he would like to give something back to his country. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kabul.